Jordan came to St. John's with big expectations and all these done since donning a Red Storm jersey. He's met the hype. Jordan came to the Johnnies as the highest ranked recruit of the Lavin era. A top five point guard slotted as the 22nd best player in the country by ESPN. With three biggies rookie of the weeks already under his belt, Jordan's making a push to follow in the footsteps of Maurice Harkless and Jakar Sampson before him and give St. John's its third consecutive Big East Rookie of the Year winner. Jordan was born in Philly, but his career-high 24-point outburst against Georgetown showcases explosive style and smooth on-court demeanor that has him ready for the marquees of the Big Apple. I just got my game uh, saying that I'm a, I'm a selfish player. Um, I play hard no matter what, and I let her win. I, I just couldn't believe it. Like, I, I just I really couldn't believe it. I actually was playing on it. I was actually was playing on. Um, the Knicks floor versus Syracuse, so it was like a big moment for me. I just had to show up. I knew I kind of let the team down. I did good. Rashid can be really, really good. Now, I actually feel bad for him because he has so many things on his plate, you know, with his family. So just the fact that he's at a point in his life where he is now is amazing. I mean, he's pretty much raised six younger brothers and sisters. You know, his mother has health issues. And I mean, he's had some issues where he's had to miss some time or some things like that. And he, he, he's fighting those things, and he's he's maturing, and it's helping him to grow up a lot faster than you would want a young man to grow up. He's a great player, great talent. You know, he's coming along. He's um, he, he started out kind of slow, you know, just getting used to you know the college game, you know, everything, and being away from home. But he's a great player. You know, you you, you do everything. He, he rebounds at the guard position really well. Um, he runs the team really well. You know, in transition, you know, finding people in transition. And he can score too, so he's a great talent for us. First game, you know, like 17 points, five rebounds, three, four assists. So, you know, he's, the sky's the limit for him as well. It's not really difficult, but then again, it is, because like when the lights is on, everybody looking at you, like the lights is like, it's really on you. So, like, you know, like you go to certain places, a little, like a little dented, but like in the garden, the lights is really on you. So, like, you miss a shot. Like you'd be like, wow, just missed in front of all these people. Cause like they, everybody looking at you, but like when you make a shot, you'd be like, you just be going. Like, you just keep wanting the ball, keep wanting to shoot, keep wanting to run up and down the floor. Like, he's just great. Rashid, I think you see the potential there with Rashid. I think Rashid has got ability to get to the basket. He can become a premier defender. He's a pass first guy. And I think, you know, I think it's with Rashid, I think there's just an evolution that needs to continue to grow. Well, I take a lot of pride. I mean, I'm, I'll, I always play defense, but like at this level, I think it's like, it's, I, I can actually show it, you know what I'm saying? Because we playing against, I'm getting playing against like, everybody high level, so it's not like I'm taking advantage of other people. So when I play defense, I just, I don't worry about getting crossed or anything. I just play the game and whatever happens, happens. I just play hard no matter what. Just play defense up and down the floor. The sky's the limit for him. He's 6'3", you know, 200 pounds, jump out the gym. Really, really good passer. Um, speed, quickness, power. Uh, he, he's, he's everything you want in a prototype point guard nowadays. So his whole thing is just continue to get better each and every day and not get frustrated, you know, because it's, it's, he has to fall in love with the process of getting better. Like, I mean, everybody keep pushing him, motivating him, like, you know, you won't just come and just blow up, like, the stage, you don't get it. Now he's good. I think he found his confidence, his growth, he's, he's playing, he's born. He's a good guy. He's a, a, one of those players that comes along maybe once in a lifetime if you're a coach. Great point guard, uh, has long arms, uh, great, the best passer I've ever seen uh, when he was in for his recruiting visit here. Uh, he's a great uh, knowledge of how to get the ball to open, man. He's got great peripheral vision. He's a big time player, you know. Um, he stepped up in the Syracuse game for us. He had a great game, that was his breakout game, you know. Um, he had a good game against Xavier, he had a big game there. You know, and he's just been getting better as the, as the season going on. Like like dad, like son. I mean, we, we, we text some good things he um, he says, like um, like good passing, extra extra passing. Like um, As being a guard, I'm one of the biggest guards in the team, so I get like the rebounds. He think I can rebound more, so that's some of the things he can be proud for. A very high ceiling, you know, um, great potential. Big, big for a um, point guard. You know, he got a great size, for sure. He got his great vision too, and he's a competitor. Me and him, we, we like this. You know, we live in the same place. It's, it's great living with him, cause like sometimes I be so tired, I'm the one get up for practice. He's like, come on, man, you gotta get up. 
it's time to go to practice, or if I be late, he be like, you, you, you like, hey, come knock in my room, like, you got to go to class, or go be late to class, so. Also, him and Chris, so they be on, they be on top of me. So my dream do come true, I go to the NBA, I was thinking about like, after a year, or a year and a half, I go back, give to the community, give out like sneakers, coats, do, do like little, little basketball camps for the kids, like things that people did for me or didn't do for me, I'll do for the children that's back home.